whatever I'm saying is gonna bring me to one conclusion. And this conclusion is that A, that whatever relationship, whomever you connect with and you merge in and whatever connection you have, okay, it's already doomed to fail. It's already designed for failure. A is that Everything in the world that appears to be, it's got a duration. None of it is permanent. B, you've already been programmed that everything is fast and it's okay. So you just don't have any patience to go deeper into anything because why go deeper when you can just swipe it and go to the next one? Why work on it? Be patient with it when you have so many choices. And see, you're already damaged and programmed to believe that the love, the romantic love ha is coming from outside. It's another place, another person. You have to go get it. You have to accomplish it. And to accomplish that, there is a list of things that you have to check mark. It's a lot of pressure. You have to have a nice body, you have to be fluent, you gotta be a suave, you have to dress like, you gotta have your hair slicked, you have to look good, you have to be smart, you have to have money, you have to have a nice car. It depends where in the world you live. But there's like all these check marks that you have to check in. They all have to be yes. So there's a lot of pressure on that of the stuff you have to have. And when I went deeper inside, I realized that there is only one relationship in, in this life. There's only one relationship. You only have one relationship in your entire life, only one. Each and every one on this planet only has a one relationship. That's it. And that relationship is to the self. There's only one true relationship. And that relationship is to the self. And that is the only true relationship that exists. Everything else comes and goes. Everything else has a duration. Even to your best friend, to your mother, to your father, to your children. As much as you're connected, as much as you love them, it's got a duration. There's a beginning and there's an end to it. And you don't have to believe what I'm telling you. Look at it. Take a look. Look at your relationships. See what's going on. They come and they go. Especially love relationships. Specifically, love, romantic relationships. They come, they go. And it appears that the duration is shorter than before. And a major part of it is that un until you come to this enlightenment, to this awakening, to this realization that Love and acceptance is something you have to recognize within yourself. You have to discover that love is here. 
and it's coming from you. It's your own presence. It's your divine being. It's your connection to God. It's the presence of God within you that you feel love. And until you really discover that within yourself, you're not really free because you're looking for it outside of yourself. Because you've been programmed and brainwashed to project it outside. And it's not your fault, believe me. I'm not pointing finger at you. It took me 30 years to figure that out. And sitting with so many masters and teachers before I came to that realization, I didn't know that. Before I came to that understanding that the love I'm looking for, the romantic love that I want, it's, I have to discover it within myself. I had heard the words and today you read it in a lot of spiritual books but that's not the point you have to get it you have to understand it and as you understand it and you start to develop self-love recognizing your own divinity recognizing that you are complete after all the noise, if you go beyond the noise and you really dive within yourself, like when we were meditating earlier or when we had our retreat, those moments of like completion, like you're in this place that it is complete. And you're very happy and complete with yourself got to recognize and it may take time and you may work on it but at least you're on the right track because somebody pointed it out to you and it makes sense that that relationship I need to discover it within myself I have only one relationship and that is to the self to the divine self, to the presence of the self here. That's the only relationship that doesn't come and go. Everything else comes and goes. Everything else is an image of this one. But you're not getting it outside because as soon as you try to grab it, it disappears, or finally you get to it, but it won't last very long. It changes. Because you haven't really discovered it within yourself. You gotta figure it out. You have to recognize it, that you by yourself, sitting here in your apartment alone, in the middle of nowhere, or in your house, or whatever, with no entertainment, you can be okay with yourself. And you can just love yourself the way you are, not the way you think you should be. Not when your parents told you, be a good boy and eat the spaghetti, and the vitamins and we're gonna love you, that's a way you should be. No, you're recognizing the way you are as you are. And you start accepting yourself the way you are, however you are, however you look. Wherever you are status-wise in the world, whether you got money or you don't, whether you accomplished or you didn't accomplish, can you accept and love yourself 